take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. If you voluntarily quit your job or were fired for misconduct, your claim for unemployment may be denied. To collect benefits, you must be temporarily out of work, through no fault of your own. If you don't meet your state's eligibility requirements, your claim for unemployment will be denied. Let's help you make your mark. You cannot get PUA if you can telework full-time with pay. But if you cannot telework because of domestic violence, sexual violence, or stalking, you can get PUA. You are getting paid sick leave or other paid leave benefits for the same hours you usually worked. Point one five October 2020. Take our lead. Employers typically fight unemployment claims for one of two reasons. The employer is concerned that their unemployment insurance rates may increase. After all, the employer, not the employee, pays for unemployment insurance. The employer is concerned that the employee plans to file a wrongful termination action. Let's help you make your mark. Some reasons for termination might make you ineligible for unemployment benefits. To collect unemployment benefits, you must be out of work through no fault of your own. But employees who are fired are not always eligible for unemployment, at least not right away. It depends on the reasons why the employee was fired. Take our lead. Yes. It is fraud to claim that you are unemployed while working. This is dishonest and the federal government may charge you with a crime. In addition, you may be liable for penalties, interest and withholdings and executions on your the 27th of February 2011. Take our lead. Eligibility for unemployment benefits is determined by your state unemployment office. Once your 2020 census job has ended, the Census Bureau will provide a standard Form 8 SF8 notice to federal employee about unemployment insurance to help you file for unemployment benefits. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.